heritage. Ugata Baba, and all your plan won't do you. Many centuries before the start of colonization, African kingdoms had established proud traditional institutions rooted in their rich cultural heritage. But at the end of the colonization in the 20th century, many African traditions had been displaced and Africa's history was tainted. However, in the face of this cultural imperialism, the Edo people of the Benin Kingdom managed to preserve their culture, traditions, arts and crafts, giving the world a rare insight into how a people, a dynasty and an empire has evolved from the tiny community of Igodo Migodo to the modern Benin Kingdom. Benin, a people with ancient heritage and tradition. Known for its unique monarchy institution. A city that has held the world spellbound with her histories, culture, myths, arts and crafts. The Benin Kingdom Home of Omonoba Nedo, Ukwa Polokolo, Oba Erediawa, CFR, the Oba of Benin, and home to many more great Obas who lived and grew the Benin Empire. This year, and as always, the Oba of Benin has invited friends and visitors to come celebrate with him and his people in the annual Igwe Festival. Sharing their common heritage and promoting such values and beliefs that shows as a people we can go achieve. The origin of Igwe can be traced back to the time of the Odionweres where the eldest person in Edo society ruled and also at the time of the Sky Kings known as Ogiso. Benin mythology has it that the first Ogiso who ruled between 40 BC and 16 AD came down from the sky to rule the people. Igwe itself is a word in Benin that means making sacrifice to one's head. So during these times, both the Odionweres and the Ogisos made sacrifices to their heads and to God for seeing them through the year. So we focus on the head as the main um, focus of where the spirituality of man can reside. So when we worship our head as, as the focus of a spirituality, uh, we are also recognizing the existence of this supernatural being referred to as God Almighty. It was until the time of Oba Ewai the Great, who ranged from 1440 to 1473, that so many innovations were brought into the celebration of the Igwe festival. So much so that every Benin citizen joined him at the end of every year to celebrate the festival. And so, the Igwe festival became that of memorial, appeasement and thanksgiving to the Almighty God through the ancestors. Since then, Igwe festival has become an annual event in Edoland, 
observed by the Oba of Benin and the Edo people to mark the end of a year and to celebrate the beginning of a new one. Together, the people of Benin, with the spiritual leadership and guidance of the Oba, have continued to move ahead, overcoming many obstacles just as they have done in the past. The Edo people are also known for their arts and crafts. For these carvers, it is a way of life, not just an occupation. Oba Esigye, in the 16th century, commissioned craftsmen to make a representation of his mother, Queen Idia, as an honor to her for defeating the jihadists. The Festac 77 mask is a splitting image of the queen's head. The most important artwork, piece of art on earth today is this Festac mark. That piece of art, that is the, uh, uh, dedicated to the remembrance of the queen's mother, that is Idia, the mother of Esigi. This ancient city is also famous for its beads, which are a part of their personality and culture. Beads are also essential during celebrations, and the Igwe festival is not an exception. In fact, beads are essential in the attires of the Oba and his chiefs when they come out to celebrate life and pay homage to the ancestors. The Igwe festival is a series of colorful ceremonies that sees the people of Benin the chiefs and the Oba come out in beautiful ceremonial attires to come pay homage with dance and respect to the departed souls of their worthy ancestors. Igwe festival came into limelight in 1440 AD during the reign of Oba Eware, one of the great kings of Benin Kingdom. No other Oba can compare to what he had done. And that is why in Benin parlance we say, Egbe Wai Agioba say, that, okay, just like to say, is the last Oba of Benin. He was a great mystic, being an Oba. Um, having passed through a lot of uh, difficulties as a prince, that actually groomed him to become a very great Oba. He had to pass through a lot of tribulations, challenges. In several attempts of his life, because his junior brother, he saw the throne of wife and then uh, he had to struggle to regain the throne. He said if he stays on the throne for three years, then we must perform Igwe. He's anointing, Igwe meaning anointing. Three years after he was still there, then he now declared Igwe. The value of Igwe is that it's a period of thanksgiving. Thank God who created you. To thank, to thank the, our ancestors who are our forebears. To thank the Oba who is the God we know the God we see, and to thank our own heads for leading us into a successful year. It started, yes, with Oba Ewai to be celebrated when, at the time, the Oba ascends the throne. Oba Akinzwa II changed that whole situation. 
let it coincide with the end of the year. The festival, which is an annual thanksgiving, is the climax of all traditional festivities in Benin Kingdom. of thanking God for preserving us through the past year and leading us into the new year. I'm praying that the new year will be better for all of us than the past had been. The festival kicked off with the Otue Igioraba ceremony when all chiefs in Benin Kingdom come to pay homage and pray for the Oba and his ancestors. <laughs> The next day at the Ugueroba ceremony, all the eligible chiefs in Benin Kingdom come in their colorful ceremonial regalia with dance processions to pay homage to the Oba and the spirits of the departed Obas with their Eben. we thank God and our ancestors. Today we are thanking our ancestors, the past of us. Today we celebrate them. glorify them. We beg them to bring peace to the kingdom. Bring peace to Benin City in particular.
Following these events is the Ugeiron ceremony, which is the celebrated reenactments of the conflicts between the Oba of Benin and the seven hereditary chiefs, the Uzama. <laughs> The Oba was triumphant at these battles. Today's event is just to commemorate the, the war between Oba SEG and uh, the Uzamans. Yes, eventually the Oba won the battle. So we are now pledging uh, allegiance to the Oba. That is what you can see when the, the Edugun group pushed the uh, Uzama to the other side. Another important ceremony of the Igwe festival is the Ugemobo. The Omonoba, you know, close the end of the year. That the new year we are entering will bring good tidings. On the day of this ceremony, the Oba is escorted out of the palace by warrior archers at Miss Singing and Dancing. He sits inside a tent in front of the palace as the chiefs come to pay homage. To commence the rites, the chief priest strikes the drum for the Ewini traditional music to be played. The Oba then proceeds to offer prayers for peace to reign in the land. The highlight of the Igwe festival is the Ugewere, which is the grand finale of the Igwe festival. When Ewa was Kusugun was eloping in, in, in the wild, the army were looking for him. They couldn't see him, but he was hiding under the leaf. This leaf called Ewa. You know, it's very broad. And the army stood there for hours. He didn't know where he was, and none of the LA, um, the, none of the leaves shook. No one, because he wanted to say, if any place shook, he would know that oh, the man uh, was hiding there. He didn't remain so calm, still, nothing. He would tell the man was to find, you know, he has a musical power, he might have managed to let That is why the Ewere is celebrated every year during the Igwe festival. <laughs>
also wrestling in its traditional form. Igwe is one of the most culturally refreshing festivals in Nigeria. It remains as pure as it was many centuries ago. We are trying to put ourselves as a, a, a guiding force for African culture preservation. The name Mark is the uh, represent African personality. The, that is first time on today. Whatever you find it, you know this Africa. Yeah. 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 Yeah.